here at John O'Groats. Here's the sign. Here's the bike. I've got my route planned already. It's got a little bit of fruit as well to get me going in the morning. And I'm just gonna get going. Let's do it, let's go. Okay, so day one, I've just had breakfast. I thought I wasn't gonna find any vegan food in Scotland. First place I go to, I got a full Scottish vegan breakfast. Vegan black pudding, vegan sausages, beans, mushrooms, tomatoes, toast, the whole lot. It was so good. And that was in thirst, so I've got just under 60 miles left to do now and then I'll get to a place called the Crask Inn which is the closest place it's near is a place called Out Nahara it's like it's just tiny I've seen it on Google Maps it's literally one building on a road sort of similar to this not much going on I don't think there's a shower you know what can you do Last night, I don't know how I did it. I've got a video. My shower gel, I just dropped it in the shower. It bounced out of the shower and went down this little tiny drain hole. I don't know, I, I couldn't, if you tried to do it a hundred times, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get it done. It's important, I don't know how I did it. So I haven't got anything to shower with now. So no shower tonight, doesn't really matter. But it's all going good so far, no mares and we're feeling good. Some crazy views. Just had my first experience. Look at these little guys. Cutie. Yeah, just had my first experience, I think it was anyway, with the midges. And I must have had like 50, little black specks all over me look there's some fellow bike packers here hey, uh. <laughs> yeah like just all around my ankles this must have had so many so many and like they don't even come off when you brush them off they're too small to brush off didn't feel itchy or anything i just randomly saw them so i just chucked on a load of that avon skin so soft and a load of sun cream as well because why not just coming down this road behind me. I thought it was a painting of a stag, but I get a bit closer. It's definitely real. I didn't realize that they like to, they like to chill at people's houses like this. It has been a long day. It's felt like a long day. And I think I'm here, this is it. This is tonight's stop. Can't wait to just sit down and eat. <laughs> Day two. Look at that. You can sort of just about see the place I stayed last night back there. And I got 12 miles until the next turning. Get some food in the next place. It's called Leg, Log, Lake. I can't pronounce any of the places I've been to yet. But yeah, coffee is on my mind. And I might be able to see my auntie in a little place just near where I'm going. Fingers crossed. Day two is gonna be another day of midges, I reckon. They just, as I'm riding along, they just go, I don't know if you can see these. Oh, they're so annoying. And you spray the like midge spray on there. But as you're riding along, they just stick to it. Like, like, uh, like the front of a car bumper sort of thing. I'll be riding for another like, I don't know. Probably just to the end of this and I'll have them all over me again. Aye. It's 
So, the plan for today, I gotta get to Inverness tonight to a campsite from Buntrew. Sorry about that beeping, it's just this. But I definitely went too quick yesterday. Like, there's no need for me to be tearing along. And I just saw this salmon leap waterfall, and I thought that is exactly the sort of thing I should be doing. So, here it is. Right, so as a little update, stopped round at my auntie's place and I got to have a dip in their pool. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I had a massive meal and coffee. It's really nice just to have a little, especially just to see some familiar faces as well. And now I've got to get a ferry across here so I can carry on and get to Inverness. It's about 30 miles away, it's pretty flat as well. Yeah, we're doing good, we're doing good. Right, sorry if my face is unrecognisable. Really sleepy this morning. Just had breakfast in Inverness. It's a bit drizzly, as expected. A really nice breakfast. Uh, so yeah, decent start. I've still got a bit of food from yesterday's shop on the back. Because it's Sunday, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going into the middle of nowhere again. It is 20 past 9, 58 miles to go. So yeah, should be fine. Let's do it. I just had the nicest little stop with these three three people doing Land's End to John O'Groats, the opposite way around. They're probably, average age is probably about 75. <laughs> Pretty humbling. I just chat with them for like an hour, just about the ride and what's coming up and what they've got coming up and all that stuff. So friendly. And they had a vegan bake well. I'm in a good place at the moment. I've got loads of ride left to do today, but I've got all day to do it. miles to go till day three is done got like less than 10 miles to go just found this massive I don't know if I've got the energy to go up there you know crucially more important than that something that I've been looking for since coming to Scotland something I found it's the Highland Cow Site. It's got incredible views, as always, because we're in Scotland and it's like that everywhere. That's my socks, but there are the boxes, join on the helmet, a rated co op as well.
Just packing up my campsite. Uh, my camp, sorry. There's so many midges. I can barely see like this, but I think it does some sort of protection against them. They're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. I've got bites all over my face, all over my legs. Anywhere that there's any skin I've put on the midge repellent, it does nothing. It does nothing. I just need to get out of here, get on the road. I've just left Canusi campsite. The f bitches really tested me. It's so long trying to get yourself sorted, pack down, get everything away nice and tidy and dry when you've got 5,000 little stupid little bug. Oh, I think they're in my tent and everything, so they're really, really, really a grim. Let's see if I can show you some of their handiwork in a bit. For some of our listeners, very timely. We went to Bala at the weekend, and there was people already sunburned before they even got there. No. A bit of Scottish radio, cheer me up. I'm going to go to Darwinny. I'm oh, sorry if this. I'm going to go to Darwinny and get some food, get some coffee. But yeah, we're good. in Pit Lockery right now. I just stopped at a bike shop because I had a bit of a squeak and a creak coming from my bike. I don't know where. It seems all fine. I ended up just getting a couple cliff bars instead. 28 miles to go and it's half one. So we're chilling. Chipping away at it. Day four. Another really pretty day in Scotland. Look at this everywhere nice views everywhere every turn less than five miles to go day four gotta get a little bit of food before I actually completely set up because I need to have some dinner just had some lunch at a place near Dunkeld or something. It was quite nice, although I found a daddy long legs in the salad. Just can't stop thinking about it. All its legs were like knotted up. The body was there and then I found a leg like underneath a little bit of tomato. Just can't get out of my head. Maybe some Pringles will do that. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm almost there. It's day five. Today is way shorter. 50 miles today, but I'll go for it to a place called Jedbur, Jedburg. It's a bit west of Edinburgh and uh, yeah I had a bit more of a line today it's like 8 30 or something now I've just left Kinross best coffee stop slash breakfast stop of the trip so far crazy good coffee they're like some sort of speciality roasters or something. I'm not normally like a proper coffee snob, but it was so good. Avocado on toast, pow, nice little doggo in there. I'll chuck a picture in, maybe I'll chuck in too. Little bike. 
I didn't want to leave. I was just so happy in that place. I might go into Edinburgh. I feel like if I do it, I'll end up not being as much of a rest day as I like. I want to keep it really all chill today. I've got a lot of ride ahead, it's only day five. But yeah, I'm feeling good. God, I'm glad I did have those coffees though. <laughs> Massive climb. Look at these Highland cows, I don't know if you can see that though. Hey up! Day five done. I just made it to the campsite. It's completely empty. One person campsite. And I'm just constantly checking if I've got ticks or anything on me because I saw one last night in my tent and ever since I'm just like, really don't want that. Midges are enough. Don't have to start adding ticks in. It's some little rabbits or something just running around outside. These are looking all right. <laughs> oh. Morning. <laughs> Today, we cycle to Jedburgh. 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 Which I thought was yesterday, but today we're at a place B Craigs. We're at B Craigs at the moment. I got to go through Edinburgh, which is so I'm glad I didn't go there yesterday because I would have just doubled up. It's pretty flat there. After Edinburgh, it's got like a sort of it goes up. It has like a sort of double peak. That sort of thing. But yeah, it'd be good to get this 20 miles done to, into Edinburgh like nice and early. Um Ginsters for breakfast. I love a Ginsters, but for breakfast, and then this, basically a worse version of a Ginsters, the Tesco's own. This is a bit more breakfast-like, to be fair, I'll have that. Day six. Edinburgh. It's really cold. Really cold in Edinburgh. Breakfast, coffee done. Bada bing, bada boom. I sort of just want to get out of the city. So many like traffic lights and all that stuff. So yeah, I'll probably give another update once I've got out of here. Finally out of the city. I'm sure it's nice. I didn't really go through like the proper main bit of it. All the cycle bits are just grim. Always better in the countryside. Look at this. Look at this. Stuff like that. Right, so day six, done nearly 50 miles. I'm just gonna have some lunch. Completely squished <laughs> Ginsters. Next to a really nice little, little stream. Just did a crazy descent. Went on forever, having to dodge sheep. Loads of sheep. Hey, hey, hey. I must have told myself, like, must have feels like miles back. Right, once I get to the top of this hill, I'm gonna have this sausage roll and chill out for a sec. There's gonna be any, God, I can't get much higher than this. Like, there's one of these things. Doesn't that mean you're up near the top? Surely. But 
it's all worth it when you got that waiting for you. I mean, look at that for a... <laughs> like the last couple of kicks there were crazy. Yeah, another sausage roll break for myself. These last like 10 miles just been brutal. It just goes down, back up, down, back up. Just had my first gel of the trip of my life actually. It was actually nicer than I thought it would be. Five, maybe seven miles from a from, uh, tonight's stop. So we are getting there just feeling completely rinsed, really dead. Okie dokie. I'm somewhere a little bit more chilled now. Real chill, real pretty. My face is not the same. Today, slightly longer day. I've already done a thousand feet of climbing in the first 10 miles. 70s ago, 8.42 now. 14 more miles on this road and then I get to a place called, I don't know, but I'm gonna stop there for some food and charge up some stuff because everything's running a bit low. Not good, not good. All right. I'm in England. There's no sign or anything like that saying, you know, well done, you're in England or anything like that. Just check the map. I think it was somewhere along that gravel path. But yeah, it's a bit of a milestone. My legs are pretty battered, to be honest. Coming up to 5,000 feet of climbing today. Still got 30 miles left. Look at that, look at it. Made it to the first big town in England, Penrith. Been here like five minutes and it sucks. Just the land of double roundabouts and really angry people everywhere. So I just want to get to camp and go to bed, please. Righty-o. I'm going to stop because I don't want to eat it. Raging because <laughs> I was so knackered. What can you do? Gotta get there, so yeah, I'll show you the campsite though, because it's quite cute. And there's a couple of chickens running around there, so win some, you lose some, you know. Hey little guy. You want a scritch scratch? A scritch scratch! It's got to be probably the worst storm I've ever seen in England. So I just had a nice little, sort of like a little cry sort of thing. 